Before I knew it, I was a butterfly. Was this sequence here? Chasing after another butterfly flying in front of me. I flutter away. I desperately flap my wings, trying to ascend to the sky. But a butterfly's body is too light, and I am at the wind's mercy. Seeking to rest our wings, we stop on a flower. Yearning for its nectar, we flutter to its center, only to find it dried up. This flower was an imitation. Every single flower here was a flower in appearance only. The sky was out of reach, and the surface holds no flowers. How tragic, I say as I flap my wings. How tragic, the other says with a flap. Mm. This wall again. This fucking wall. <laughs> I can't see anything. So I think the next split is gonna be here because we sh shot her and then she kind of transformed and there was a decision to watch it. So we'll see that. So I'm sure you must have been moved so much that you've spoken without thinking before. Wait, what? What is this? What the fuck? Let me analyze it. How am I supposed to? Let me drop my layer. Hmm? What's that? Strawberry. I mean seeds. Dahlia seeds. Yeah, where are the dahlias? Like, it's Was a key. Was that avatar protecting these seeds? It's a key to everything I here, but... I them in an empty pot. Never grown something from a seed. Soil should be on top of the shelf. Next, water it. <laughs> nice pottery class. There we go. Now I'll set my layer back. Ah. Coco's favorite flower. <laughs> Those layers. Chloe, look. Another one's bloomed. I was worried since you were a slow bloomer, but you turned out great. Good job. Wait, we turned again? This Ariadne is so confusing, but it's like, it's interesting, but like, sometimes I get confused where to go. I guess I just have to just listen to the game, because I tried to search for other answers in other kind of paths, but the game kind of like forced me every time in the same place with this butterfly sequence. But I didn't listen, so I have to go with the flow. It's times like these I kind of wish I could see. I'm sure you're a beautiful color. <laughs> hey Chloe, what does this flower look like to your eyes? <laughs> Please tell me. Can't tell really it's the red. memories. Okay. What else? It's a dahlia. Well, I'd sure be shocked if it wasn't. <coughs> what else? Dahlia. Dicotyledonous plant of the Asteraceae family. Okay. You Andrea know... from Mexico of the old. I wasn't asking for the dictionary definition. I want to know your impression of it. Impression? Meaning? The first thing that comes to your head, without thinking it over, like beautiful or pretty. Has that never happened to you, Chloe? Words coming out before you could think? No, ma'am. I do wonder about that. I think you're just strongly repressing yourself, Chloe. Why do you think that? Because I've been talking with you over the past few days. I know how your heart works. Chloe... I feel from you a heart that's rich in emotion, in your voice, your words, your expression. So I'm sure you must have been moved so much that you've spoken without thinking before. Mm. The song. The what? When I first came here. That song you were singing. It was very beautiful. To be honest. 
times like these, you really are a handful and a half. <laughs> I apologize if I upset you. No, you need not. In fact, I'm in a very good mood right now. And since I'm in such a good mood, I'll sing for you. Hmm, okay. Chloe, please, fight with me. Fight with me? So I should fight with Anima? Elko, what? What should I do? What should I do, really? I can't... I don't know. I still don't understand what you were saying. A dream. The dahlias are blooming. Is it because of that dream? Huh? Hello, Chloe! Our long-awaited picnic time has finally arrived! Ugh. Come over right now! Hurry, hurry! Shit. I'll skip. Okay. So, we reject her help. No. Let me do it on my own. Wh what? Mhm. Mm Did you I hear her singing. Keep silent, I guess. Yes, I will not allow anyone to interfere with your work. Okay, so we are alone. Without Boy, Noah. Don't get too close to that humanoid meteora. It'll kill you if it starts moving. There's no indication of that right now. Always be on your guard. Keep enough distance so you can hop underground at any time. Yamato is standing by in his cockpit, but he might not make it there in time. Okay. It would be safe if we could have sent the Machia out onto the surface with you. But this is Professor Julie acting on her own. And sending a Machia would alert the council. Chloe, just... <laughs> oh, I will. Promise me you won't do anything reckless. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I won't do anything reckless. I'm sorry you got forced to participate in this dangerous investigation. I know it must be hard to be around a meteora that looks like Coco. It's not something you need to apologize for. We keep putting you in all these painful situations. I couldn't even stop Professor Julie from going out of control yesterday. I had no idea there was a system to forcefully shut you down inside of you. How is that any different from a machine? It's just wrong. Don't worry. I'm used to that kind of treatment. <laughs> you shouldn't get used to it. I wish you would value yourself more. Value myself, huh? Coco once said something like that to me before too. I once cut my hand in front of Coco. To show her a designed human's regenerative abilities. Coco cried when she saw me do that. And then she made me promise never to treat myself like that again. Coco said that? I promise I won't do anything reckless. Okay. Sorry to worry you. <laughs> it's not often I get to hear you say something like that. Sure. I don't really... By the way, Chloe. There's one thing I noticed. Huh? Could you look at this? Have you noticed the location the humanoid meteora is sitting? Um, on the desert? It's the same coordinates as where Coco was eating. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't notice until you said it, Alba. You're right. This is where it happened. Hmm. Hey, Chloe, why did you think on that day Coco was able to stand up? I thought Coco couldn't even walk. Um... Hey, Chloe. Huh. What I'm about to say could be just a crazy idea. But? What if, and I mean if, Coco's ability to walk was because the Meteora was assisting her. What do you think Coco's relationship was to the Meteora? Relationship? Coco wasn't just eaten? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Maybe hmm. I'm just overthinking things. Hmm. Hmm. Could I get some time alone to think? Hmm. hmm. What was Coco doing then? The song, What I Can Do Now. Again, flowers. So, whoa, a new choice. I can sing. Huh. Hmm. Would you understand if I sing? Um... <gasps> huh? 
actually. It moved! Why? How? What happened? Noah, mobilize the Argos and record every single movement of its face. Are you looking at me? Can you hear me? I have very good ears, Chloe. No matter where I am, I'll always be able to hear your voice. Are you actually Coco? Did you come to see me? Okay. We detected another meteora approaching. Chloe, you have to retreat. Yeah, this bitch. <laughs> another one? Huh? Again. How do Just I like change this tide? Because we killed the splitter and then the splitter was destroyed? I oh fuck. We'll see. No one give the controls back to me! You're not in your right mind, Chloe. Thank you, Noah, but I'm calm. I want to see for myself. Oh. See what that meteor is exactly. Wait. No. We couldn't control it before. Transferring control to Chloe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Can we analyze the other one, actually? I predicted you would do this. <laughs> what do you mean? However, I still don't understand. That's an interesting decision, Lieutenant Chloe. <laughs> right? Did you hear something from that wave? If we did the analyze, we can't shoot. Yeah, it's blocked. So we change the course of the action then. Revising coordinates. Target Meteora B. Noah, what are you? Wait, what? It shoots nevertheless. I think we change something at least. I'm not sure. Oh, there are still flowers, so I think yeah. Wait, so no, let's do this again. If we're in this form, then if I kill myself, it's gonna be different. Yes, it's the same as Tucky Cronus. <sighs> Why? Why do you? Why do you have the same eyes as Coco? I should shoot. I know that, but... What? Stop! That's far enough! Okay, we chose other path, so that counted then. In my dream, hmm? I was a bird. I was flapping away, chasing after another bird. What? I could go anywhere. Beyond the horizon, above the ocean, and also high up in the sky. Yes, I've almost reached the sky, a place I've always admired. I can't hold in my excitement, but then I realize immediately, this sky is fake. The clouds are patterns, and blue sky is just a painted color. I want to see the real one. So sad, I chirped. Hmm. So sad, the other bird chirped. <laughs> well, I think we're going in the right direction not now. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. But not... Meeting beyond. <laughs> not wrong either. What's that? A photograph? There wasn't a photograph on the wheelchair. No good. Not enough data, I suppose. I had to search behind on the if flower. I had the remaining data. Huh. It's not this? No. What about this? Huh? Okay. Is this it? Yeah, but it's in the other place. This should patch it up. Why? What's this doing here? Come to think of it, this was when Coco read me a book. Coco read her a book, not me. What was it again? Is it on the bookshelf? What? Oh, wow. Huh. 
It's not here. Where could it be? Uh, oh. Here we go. Orpheus. Story of Orpheus. What? Lord Hades, King of the Underworld. Please allow me to bring my wife back to the surface. Wait, how is she reading? After arriving or she the remembers it. Orpheus played his harp skillfully and sang his love of his dead wife. Everyone in the underworld was moved to tears by the beautiful music. The king said, If you love your wife so, I will allow you to take her home with you. However, do not look at your wife's face until you reach the surface. Oh. Orpheus promised this. Orpheus closed his eyes and blindly reached his hand out. The feeling of the hand that gripped his was unmistakably his wife's. Orpheus led the hand back the way home. After a long way, they finally see the light of the surface. I can finally be with my beloved. However, Orpheus suddenly became apprehensive. Is his wife really there? Orpheus turned back without thinking. He broke his promise with the king. His wife was taken back to the underworld immediately. Mm. Their hands unable to reach each other. The two were apart once again. Hey, Chloe. Mm? What did you think hearing this story? Tell me what you think. <laughs> I think. How did you know this? I have a question. Yeah. Why did Orpheus not end the story? Okay. At the point he reunited with his wife. If he reunited with her in the underworld, they could have stayed together there forever. If you were in the same position as Orpheus, you would stay in the underworld? Even though that's the land of the dead? I would stay there, since reuniting with his wife should have been the goal of his journey. Hmm. You should always adhere to your priorities. Orpheus lost his wife again because he greedily had a second wish. That's an interesting point of view. Yes, he wasn't able to get back his wife. Love slipped out of Orpheus's hand. But Chloe, was his journey all for nothing? I don't think it was. At the end of the journey, what he really brought home was growth. It wasn't meaningless. I'm sure his wife wasn't angry either. I think she would continue loving the husband who came to the underworld forever. She might have even been relieved that maybe now her husband would forget about her and make his way to the future. Huh. Then does that mean the wife didn't want to return to the surface? Of course she wanted to return. Miss Coco? The wife wanted to return home to the surface with her husband and take walks in the meadow and look for flowers together. She wanted to look up at the stars together, but since she knew that she was preventing them from shining, she held in the tears and stepped aside. Don't you think that's what love is? I don't really uh... understand what you're saying, Miss Coco. But do things like growth or change sometimes negate love? No, love is immortal, Chloe. It just changes form. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Love becomes an important past where you no longer need your partner to be beside you. Huh. The present will eventually become the past. And the next present will sprout. The present and the past. Perhaps people are able to grasp the future because they value both of them. Hmm. Is this difficult to understand? It's a lot to unpack, that's for sure. Yes. I don't think I really understand. It's okay. You don't need to understand right now. I'm sure you will in the future. Hmm. Now, let's leave the difficult talk here and have some snacks, Chloe. <laughs> Sometimes, munching on delicious cake is just what one needs in life. <laughs> okay. Chloe. Chloe. It's closer and closer. I don't know. Um, what? Chloe. Do you know what they like? They like the same things I do. 
Yes. Members. Chloe, how do you think we should handle this meteora? We postpone the decision? I don't remember what I chose. I think postpone. Uh... Too scared to make a decision? Yeah, okay. I suppose that's fine too. I like this better than hearing you crying to kill it. Chloe, your face is so pale. You should rest. Why don't you head home, Chloe? Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Don't you feel that yourself? Deny. That's not... Yeah, Chloe is special to it. Special enough for it to come over just to kill her. <laughs> it was just taking the best form to kill her each time. No, you can't say that for sure. Yes, it does seem aggressive towards Chloe for now. But while it was still a giant, it took action on several occasions to yeah. save Chloe. Okay. If that meteora didn't shield Chloe, she would have definitely died. No, the meteoras were only fighting each other, and it just looked like it saved Chloe. It has to be a coincidence. You might be able to come up with an appropriate name. We wanted to think up the name, but I think we couldn't, so we will deny it. How could I? That is not Coco. It isn't? Then why not preliminarily name it Coco? It might start acting like her. Huh. Don't be ridiculous. No, Chloe! Don't do it, Chloe. Dieter isn't in his right mind right now. What if he shoots you? What do you take Coco for? General Dieter, please stop. Don't press Chloe anymore. Julie, you stop him too. Dieter is acting even crazier than you. Why would everybody just shut <laughs> up? Especially Chloe. I gave you the ideal body. With that kind of personality, it's a total waste. Coco's really done a number on you. Wasted all my hard work. Do you have no other counter suggestions? Huh. Then the unique's name will be Coco. What? Anima. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Save the day. You definitely want it gone, right, Chloe? So we share hesitation, we'll agree with Noah. Whether it wants to attack me or not, if it's a menace to humans like all meteoras before it, <laughs> it's so happy. logical to eliminate it. Yeah, that thing is dangerous after all. Let's go take it down now. You idiot. Our issue is that we can't do that. General Theater and Special Research Officer Julie are telling us to keep it alive and study it. Even I couldn't handle making enemies of both of them. Then what should we do? <laughs> Don't worry. I've got a plan. Oh. I call it Operation Prove the Unique Unit's Threat to the Underground Society. Ah, oh, because we knew she sent uh, Patroclus messages and stuff like that, so... Oh, wait, what? We'll go to the council and tell them of the tragedy when it predictably attacks the city. We'll scare oh. the lot of them. I know those cowards won't let that happen. I don't think it'll work. General Dieter has the council under his control. That's why we're going to scare them, so they can't be controlled. What if, say, the unique claimed a life or two? If there was a huge incident where people were attacked, it'd make the danger clear. Oh, you wanna risk true. people? They couldn't just ignore something like that. You take care of people and you want to kill? What? But who would want to be sacrificed? Someone who provoked it was attacked and seriously wounded. It was not an easy mission, but he sacrificed himself for the world to inspire the council. Are you even Noah at this point? Something's wrong. I will sing his name for future generations to hear. You'll be a legend, Yamato. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be serious here. <laughs> 